Hello, welcome back again to the channel. In this video, we're gonna use English because to get a wider audience. So, we're gonna discuss a problem from Baby Rudin chapter 1, problem 1. So, Baby Rudin, the principle of analysis textbook, which is widely used everywhere. So, the problem goes as follows let R be non zero rational number and x is irrational. And we would like to show that r plus x and r times x is irrational. Uh, we call that the way we define irrational number is irrational is a, neg is a negation being rational. So that irrational number has no particular shape. Because of that, then we will argue this problem by using contradiction. So we start with uh, assumption. What if what can <coughs> work, what can be wrong if r plus x or r times x is rational? Is rational, right? Okay. So let's get started. Suppose r plus x is rational, and we can give a name to this rational number. Say that this r plus x is equal to q. q is an element of big Q, which is a rational field. Okay, and then from this equation, we're gonna add to the left of each of this side. We're gonna add minus r to the left of the left hand side and to the left of the right hand side. Remember that minus r is the inverse of r under addition, right? So, because of that, when we add negative r minus r plus r, we get zero. So, the left-hand side will turn into zero plus x, which is just x. Meanwhile, on the right-hand side, since r is rational, then minus r is rational as well. So, this guy is rational, and that guy is also rational. Since Q is a field and it is close under addition, then this minus R plus Q, which is which can be written as Q minus R, is an element of Q as well. But that's a contradiction. Contradict which facts? Remember that at the beginning we say that X is irrational. Meanwhile, here we have that X is in Q. So X is rational. So that's a contradiction. So then our supposition that r plus x is rational cannot be true, so it must be false. Therefore, r plus x have to be irrational, right? Now you may try to show in a similar manner that r x must be irrational as well. So you may try to do it by yourself first, and you can pause the video for a moment now. Please give it a try. Okay, let's discuss the second part. So, similar to what we did earlier, we suppose on the contrary that r times x is rational. And we give a name to this r times x, say that r times x is equal to s, which is a rational number. Right? Now, recall that our r is not equal to zero, and r is in a rational number field. Since it is a field, then every non-zero element has an inverse. And the inverse of R is usually being written as 1 over R in Rudin's book. Right? So, since R is non-zero, then there exists this 1 over R. This 1 over R is a special element related to R, which is the inverse under multiplication the inverse of r under multiplication, which means that if we multiply this r with 1 over r, either to the left or to the right, we will get 1, the identity element of the multiplication. Right. So, now similar as to what we did, we're going to multiply the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this equation by 1 over r. Right. Multiply by 1 over r, and 
also the right hand side will multiply by 1 over r. Now since multiplication is associative, we can multiply 1 over r with 1 over r by r first. And what do we get? We get 1 here, right? But 1 times x is x. So the left hand side is equal to x. Meanwhile, the right hand side, since r is in q, which is a field, then 1 over r is in q as well. And s is in q because of this, right? And multiplication is close in any field. So therefore, this 1 over r times s is an element of q. So if we left, if we read from the left to the right, the left hand side is equal to x. Meanwhile, the right hand side is an element of q. Therefore, x in is in q. And that's a contradiction since x is irrational. So therefore, the supposition that rx is rational must be false. Therefore, rx have to be irrational. Right? So, that's all. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.